Hello there, my name is Irene Leone and I want to show you how branding with photography will get you where you want to go in your online business much, much faster. The true value of photography is creating a meaningful connection to hearts and leaving a very strong memory in the minds of our ideal audience. And it simply cannot be measured. But I'm here to unravel to you just how powerful it truly is. Are you ready? If you're new here, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button to receive notifications when the new videos get posted. Today, I want to lift the lid off the least discussed subject in the online marketing industry and to let you take a peek at this treasure of a jet fuel for your brand. This is something that big advertising agencies have been using since since advertising was invented and something that small and mid-sized business owners have to stumble upon almost accidentally, if so, <laughs> because most of us never even discover it. Here is the most important thing about photography and especially photography that represents your brand. When we look at the images, we don't process information in a logical way. We don't go like, there is a table here in this photo. There is a bouquet of flowers here on this table. The flowers are purple. Um, there are two people standing by the table. One of them is female. The other one is holding a mug and um, making a sad face. <laughs> what we do instead is we apply our own personal life experience when we process the image. We apply our memories, our taste, our values, and our reasoning. We identify faces, objects, we identify locations, environments, we identify stories based on our life experience that associate with those objects, faces, and locations. We're even examining the light in the photo. Yeah. We don't do it consciously though, it just happens. Photographers are probably the only weirdos analyzing light in every photo they look at. Non-photographers don't do that. For example, when I was in my 30s, I, I kind of hated sunsets. I know it's weird, not because they're ugly, no, <laughs> but because I associated some very sad memories from my childhood with that late afternoon glow. Every time the weather was clear and the sun would go down, I would have this scratchy feeling in my chest that would take me back to years and years before. And um, I honestly haven't enjoyed the sunset until much later in my life when I got to overwrite that experience and began enjoying those beautiful sunset moments uh, shared with the person that I loved spending time with. So, what would happen to my emotions if I saw images of sunsets when I was in my 30s? I remember that I, may, I would make a mental effort to convince myself that um, there are sunrises instead, <laughs> yeah, if that worked, or I would simply ignore them. You would not be able to sell me a romantic couple's getaway to, let's say, Hawaii with an image of two people sitting on the beach under palm trees or whatever trees they got there in Hawaii watching sunset. No. I was not buying another sunset in my life. So this was a very strong and uh, partly weird example of how we unconsciously process lighting situations that we observe in photos that we look at. I doubt that there are that many people in the world who dislike seeing the sun go down. So I think we're pretty much okay to, to use them. <laughs> Let's move on to something a little bit more simple and maybe a little bit more realistic. When we look at photographs, we unconsciously look for familiar things. We find objects that we know what they smell like, 
what they taste like and what they feel like. We identify scenes that we know what they sound like. We make up the story based on a combination of our own memories and what our brain has identified in a photo. And what we typically look for are the things that we know that they feel good. Despite our often grumpy exterior, at the end of the day, we all want to feel good. And images that remind us of what feeling good is like is what we want to see more of. That is why happy looking brands succeed much easier. I am oversimplifying this, but generally grumpy does not sell, unless it's funny. And we all need and want to appeal to our own specific niche. What is your niche like? What makes these folks tick? What do you know about them? What do they like? Fortunately, I've got a solid place for you to start. This is the first video in the series that I've created to show you, my friend, what kind of power lies in photography when it comes to marketing with visuals. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have a comment. Also make sure you click that subscribe button and follow the link in the description if you want to receive all the video content and more tips on visual branding straight into your mailbox. I will do that for you, yes. My videos will help you build your own inner visual critic when it comes to building your platform and brand online with visuals. I'm sharing tools that I use for myself as well as for my clients and a lot of other relevant material, including business growth on social media and online marketing in general. Thank you so much for being here. Also, if you are active on Facebook, make sure you join our free online community called Visual Brand Accelerator. I created it for business owners just like you who need a non-invasive, ongoing support with their visual and a safe place to ask questions and get some answers when it comes to branding, photography, sometimes even lighting for their sets. I love talking about lighting and even sometimes video techniques because I love making videos. <laughs> You'll find the link in the description. Again, my name is Irina Leone and this video is part of the series Jet Fuel for your online brand or how to work human perception into your brand's visuals. See you soon.